the first thing we need to do is to assemble the mold. The mold comes in three components. Uh, this is the base, the two sides. It's held together with rubber bands which, interestingly enough, came in bundles of asparagus. I just threw them in with the pottery equipment. So, first thing to do, if you notice, we have alignment uh, buttons. Assemble the mold according to the location of the alignment buttons. The next thing to do is to secure the mold with rubber bands. The rubber bands force the pins together into the pockets. You can see that once it's uh, once it's banded up, it's a fairly solid unit. The slip in the bottle is poured into the reservoir in the top and fills the cavity inside the mold. Pour it in and let it sit for 35 minutes in this instance to get about a quarter of an inch wall thickness. Don't fill it all the way up to the top. Leave a little space. Set this for 35 minutes. Occasionally the mold will have to be topped off because water is absorbed into the body of the mold. It's been 35 minutes. It's time to empty the mold. The mold will go into the, the ceramic inside of the mold will go into this funnel. This is surplus ceramic. Remember all of the flocculation has taken place and um, there's, a ca there's a cavity that will form uh, when this is poured out, when the excess is poured out. Uh, pour it sideways so it keeps things sort of orderly. I guess the idea is to just let it drain until it pretty much stops dripping. Once you've drained all of the excess slip out of the mold, set the mold upside down and let it drain for 10 minutes or so. Side, see that much was left over. Turn on its side and let the slip inside the cavity solidify for two hours after two hours the slip should pull away from the sides of the mold and the, the, the action of the slip pull, uh, pulling away from the sides of the mold is a result of water continually being absorbed into the mold cavity and the part itself shrinking. It's been two hours and it's now time to remove the mold. Take off the rubber bands. had a little change of venue because we need air for this part. It's not necessary but it's an aid. The first thing I need to do is to split the mold. You can see there's a seam there and a seam there. <clears throat> I'm going to split the mold from the longitudinal axis.
obviously one part of the mold cavity. A little squirt of air will pop the piece off of this back uh, half of the mold. pretty stuck that time. <clears throat> this is the particularly difficult part is removing the the piece from uh, you know it's a projection where the candle goes. Pop that off with just a little bit of air. Here we can see the mold cavity taken apart. This is the projection that forms the seat for the candle. This is the cavity. The final piece sat in here in this manner. This is the part that will be removed. These are alignment pins that are built into the mold when it was constructed. Standard potter's tool will allow you to remove the parting seam. It's a very blunt cutting edge. All you do is just gently run along the part. And just shave off the seam. And using the back side of the tool, smooth the area up. We'll come back later with a wet sponge and make the surface completely uniform. remove the other parting seam and there you have it. The, uh, the candle holder will dry and then it can be fired in a kiln.